all right welcome back to the channel this is the ultimate gm 7.5 build uh try to get it get all this knocked out at least all the important parts knocked out or what you may need what you what you can use stock which is pretty much just the, the housing um as you can see i got my axle tubes welded all the way around on both tubes then obviously you want to get you a good carrier uh i've been using the uh yukon dual grip carrier um i dipped it in gas and forgot to uh just to clean it up and forgot to spray it down with some wd-40 and uh, the air got to it even though it was sitting inside the car i forgot to sit you know put it in the bag seal it up so the air couldn't get to it and it rusted but you know you can literally wipe the rust off it come off on your hands somewhat if you wipe it hard enough you spray it i was doing this early on another part of it and uh yeah right there and it was coming off but uh i ain't really worried about that it is what it is um but yeah so got my uh gears all-star performance you know i use a lot of their parts um they also have uh control arm parts which i have their lower control arms for the front and i'm gonna be swapping all my other control arms over and if you didn't know my rear control arms can i zoom in from here on the car are stock so i'm gonna be swapping them out also we're going to uh all-star performance control arms uh I have the lower up front, so I'm gonna be swapping out the fronts and then the backs. Um, but anyway, getting back to this, I say you know, just got my pinion depth set, up, so axle tools welded, a good uh, carrier, obviously uh, 28 spline axles, which if you haven't seen already, I got. Um, and I did upgrade. Hold on, I'll show y'all. We do got C-clip eliminators here. All right. That's going to be going to keep the axle from flying out. I upgraded the 7 16 studs to half-inch screw-in studs. If you got the Mosier axles, don't waste time with drilling them out like I was about to, well, like I started to do on this one here, trying to fit. They sell screw-in studs. So I'm going to help y'all out with this so y'all ain't got to waste time like I did. These screw-in studs, ARP, chrome molly, uh, these are three-inch studs, screw-in. If you want these, they'll stick out a little bit, but that's the part number. Now, ain't none of this guaranteed to hold, you know, big power, but if you're making a little bit of power and you got a super lightweight car, which that car, when I took it to the track before, I took the bumpers off and the passenger seat out and some other little things here and there with me in the car at race weight that car weighed 3216 uh i'm doing uh i didn't took 100 and uh, 146 pounds out of the car and then i added in you know what the fiberglass bumpers uh advertised weight is i'm gonna go with fiberglass bumpers and then i just recently decided I'm going to go with some uh, aluminum rims too, uh, probably the uh, Jags uh, SSR stars, the black and chrome I think they are, but uh, yeah, I'm going to go with them, Um, but yeah, we're going to try to uh, have some fun with this thing here, man, but uh, that's pretty much what this thing going to consist of, so I'm going to go ahead and finish, I did change my mind though, I am going to keep my front bumper I'm just going to go with a roll pan on the back. Uh, but uh, other than that, the car has not changed. Uh, I said we uh go ahead and update y'all with this uh, rear end, though. Um, so, first thing I did was upgrade my uh, studs. So, I got half-inch studs over the 7 16 studs that I had. Never mind the two lug nuts right now. I'm, I'm going to be going to... Uh, aluminum rims so instead of just buying uh lug nuts right now i'm gonna wait till i get the rims because they might take a different uh lug lug nut so that's why it's only two up here i only have five for a half inch uh so i just stuck two on this side two on the other side and plus i lost one i ain't driving the car no way so it's just sitting right now but uh yeah go ahead and update y'all on the rear end um so GM 7.5. Uh, so what I did was uh, put a I put new gears in it. Um, 
you know, did the regular uh, procedure with the gears. But the main thing, what I want to do is add C-clip eliminator. So that got rid of the C-clips. Um, I did the uh, half-inch uh, stud upgrade over the 7 sixteenths. And um, I did upgrade my trailing arms. So now literally every part of this car has been touched far as upgrade wise so uh like i said we got all-star performance upper and lower trailing arms i got a uh, uh went ahead and replaced the uh bushings that was in the housing uh, i got uh energy suspension bushings now but uh yeah and um went ahead and put the moroso trick springs in the back y'all uh depending on how long y'all been subscribed y'all know i've been had the rear as well as the front, but I never really kept the rear end because it sat a little lower, but yeah, I like how it sit now. So, um, but yeah, uh, ain't nothing really changed with the car though. Overall, I am going to be doing a uh, overall walk around of the car. Uh, next video coming up, the updates on people, what it is and what it's not. We got a couple new subscribers. So, uh, stay tuned.